Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're bringing a little NBA 2K21 content to you today. It's our Charlotte Hornets My League. We're in season number one. We're going to play games five and six here on the road at the Clippers and at the Sacramento Kings. So the Clips are three and one. We are the reciprocal one and three as we get into game number five of this first season. And uh, we're obviously still early in this uh, My League franchise, whatever you want to call it. And so, I mean, we're not going to make any knee-jerk reactions. We're going to get a good feel for our team before we start making any moves. And it wouldn't be realistic to make moves this early in the season anyway, unless you have a guy like James Harden who just wants out and is going to be a douche about it. So, and we don't have anybody like that. We don't have anybody that has that much clout anyway that could force his way out, I don't believe. So we're going to go to the fourth quarter of this first game with the Clippers, and we're deadlocked at 85. Now we have a one-point lead, and that is a nice block by Hayward on uh, Kawhi. That was Kawhi that got blocked, and Rozier's going to flush it on the other end. Terry Rozier. He's got some pretty good hops for a little guy. I guess he's not way, way little. He's not like Devontae Graham little, but... He's not huge, and he can get up there. Holy crap, so can Kawhi. And Kawhi's bigger. That was a nice dunk by Kawhi. 96-93. Hornets, we're holding the lead here. Can we win two in a, ra two in a row? This, uh, incidentally, is a back-to-back. -back. We played the Lakers last night on the calendar, and then we stay here and play the Clippers at Staples tonight. So the Clippers and the Lakers, I mean... They were, what, last season going into the season, they were the two teams that were expected to fight for the title in the West. And uh, the Clippers didn't get out of the second round. Obviously, it was in the bubble. And uh, the Nuggets came back from a 3-1 uh, deficit, I believe, and beat them after they did the same thing to my Jazz. So the uh, Clippers trying to I don't know if they got better I think they lost some players didn't they lose Montrez Harrell and uh, I don't know I don't know if they're the same team Nicholas Batum nice layup I don't think I don't think in real life that the Clippers are going to get to the uh, Western Conference Finals I, it's going to be the Lakers and somebody else Denver maybe the Jazz hopefully in my case the Jazz but I'm not going to go out on a limb and call it or anything uh, my Jazz have won eight in a row at this point, though, and uh, are looking pretty good. Mike Conley's leading the league in plus minus. Here's Kawhi, three left side shot goes down, and all of a sudden the Clippers have a four point lead. And now with 112 to go, Paul George misses, rebounded by Bridges. We're down by four with just over a minute. We need to score and then get a stop. And uh, getting stops is something our defense is not good at. And it's not going to matter anyway if we don't score. Here come the clips. Lou Williams, corner. Uh-oh. Kawhi's open. And that one goes down. The Clippers are going to win. 115-108. to 108. So we simcasted the first three quarters. End up tied going to the fourth. End up losing by seven. Uh, not our best effort in the fourth quarter. So they had 50 points in the paint. Again, I'm not going to really get into the stats when we simcast games because it drives me crazy uh, to not have the stats reflect the way I've played the game, but it is what it is. When we get to the playoffs, we'll play full games, obviously, if we ever make it. Uh, season one, it might be a long shot to make the playoffs, although the East is kind of sketchy. De'Aaron Fox, 23 points per game. The dude is lightning fast. If we uh, take a quick look at the Western Conference here. Portland and the Clippers and the Pelicans and the Timberwolves are all 4-1. and one. Memphis, the Jazz, Lakers, Denver, all 3-2. And, two. and uh, Sacramento, incidentally, is 2-3. and three. So De'Aaron Fox, Tyrese Halliburton is a very good rookie. Uh, uh, Nemanja Bielitsa. And uh, we're going to simcast. Here we go to the third quarter. We've got a nice little lead here. Uh, I think we've had as much as a 20-point lead, and we're going to go into the fourth up by 16. Let's see if we can hold on to that lead. This is going to be a little bit longer of an episode because we're going to look at some player stats at the conclusion of this game after the first six games of the season. Maybe a little bit early, but we can do, you know, a little tiny bit of analysis anyway. Devontae Graham, that was a terrible possession. 
He was the only person that touched the ball. Nobody was moving. And now Bismack Biombo just gets run by by Jabari Parker. How are you going to let Jabari Parker... That guy has had so many injuries, and he can't run. And he ran right back, right by Biz. Biz is standing there with his hands on his knees. He must be tired. we got to get him out of there. Here's Bridges. Bridges is going to back down. Nice little drop step. And lay it up and in. So we're holding on to an 8-point lead now. Lead has been cut in half. We were up by 16 when we started this quarter. Here's Bridges moving to his right. He's going to whip it to Biombo and Hassan Wyside's like, get that shit out of here. 101-93, in and out. And uh, guys, we're struggling here. Oh my gosh, look at De'Aaron Fox go. We don't have a chance to stay with him with this slider set. Guys, I'm not even joking. If you're looking at this and thinking, dude, he sucks at defense. Uh, you guys should try this slider set for real. Like, you cannot just body people up and keep them in front of you by being physical. Like, you just can't do that. You've got to move your feet. And if you don't have a fast guy, like De'Aaron Fox, look at him fly down the right side. I had uh, Devontae Graham, and I'm trying to keep up with him. And then Fox stops on a dime, and Graham, like, it took a little bit of his momentum to stop there. I'm like three plays behind the highlights, by the way, if you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about. And De'Aaron Fox, goodness gracious, man. We were double-teaming Fox right there. Then both guys left him to double-team Bielitsa, who throws it right back to Fox, and he hits a three. And guys, it's a one-point game. And we're not, just barely halfway through the fourth quarter. We've blown a whole 16-point lead. Here's Rozier in and out, off the glass, back in. And that was so very much needed right there. 106-102, we're up with five minutes to go here. Looking for our second win of the season. LaMelo swings it over to Cody Zeller. Cody Zeller playing 40 feet away from the hoop. Why, I don't know. Here is P.J. Washington. He's going to set the screen. Pick and pop guy, maybe? Yes, P.J. Does he have that range? Am I playing wrong with him? Maybe I should look at his ratings for crying out loud. Maybe he can hit threes. I think he can, actually. I watched the Hornets a little bit today by the way. They were getting their butts kicked by Orlando. Uh, last time I saw, they might have come back and won. I don't know. I didn't watch the whole game, but I think PJ did hit a three, so I think he has that capability. 108-107 now. 3.44 to go. We are just hanging on for dear life against this team here in Sacramento. The upstart Kings looking to get back to 500. Here's Hayward. Hayward around the screen from Zeller, and he gets just blocked away. Was that Whiteside again? It might have been. Here's Tyrese Halliburton. Halliburton dumps it off to De'Aaron Fox, who lays it up and in. And the Kings have the lead at goal in one center. We have completely blown a 16-point lead. And here is LaMelo. So NBA 2K21 is kind of funny because sometimes I'll feel like, man, this game is maybe getting too easy. Oh my gosh, Marvin Bagley throws that one back. And here's De'Aaron Fox. Oh, and he missed the shot. We got absolutely lucky right there. King still leading by one. That could have gone all directions bad. We could have been down by four after that shot. Here's LaMelo to PJ for the slam. All right, so what I was saying is NBA 2K21, sometimes like things feel like they're coming too easy. And so I start thinking, man, maybe I need to set my sliders up. And then all of a sudden, I just start getting my butt kicked out of nowhere. And it reminds me, like, don't take it for granted. If things are coming easy, just take it because it's not always going to come easy. It's it's weird how the game ebbs and flows like that. NBA 2K21 does. Seriously, they're right up there with MLB The Show in recreating their sport, I think. Like, they are. it's really good. I know sometimes people get frustrated with the player movements and stuff, but... I mean, I think it's as real as it gets as far as they're not ice skating out there. They're taking steps. They're I don't know. It's good. It's great. Anyway, back to this game. Charlotte Hornets up by one. Hayward. No, he misses. Rebounded by Bagley. Darren Fox, man. The guy is lightning. LaMelo. He just gets blown by and Fox lays it up and in. So now the Kings lead and now we have tied it up actually. I think LaMelo made one of two free throws, and now P.J. Washington is fouled with less than a minute to go. We're all tied up at 111. P.J., free throw line, shot good. So we have the lead with less than a minute to go. 
We, there could be five lead changes, though, between now and the end. P.J. hits a shot again. 113-111. And now with 54 seconds, here is De'Aaron Fox. Oh, and he missed the layup. It was a little bunny. <laughs> Easy little layup, and he goes off the front of the rim. 43 seconds, Rozier. Oh, that would have been a huge shot if he would have made that one. Maybe would have iced the game, but here the Kings have a chance down by two. Oh, and De'Aaron misses another layup. All right, seven seconds. They've got the ball back. Down on the block to Bagley. His turnaround fall away. Rims out, and it's rebounded by Zeller. And we're going to hold on to this win by a hair. We blew a 16-point lead in half the quarter, and then it was just hang on for dear life. And we managed to do it. 113 to 111. A W is a W, even if you tried your best to blow it. Uh, they shoot 50%. We shoot 49%. 52 points in the paint. Wow, we had 54 points in the paint. Despite all their blocks by Marvin Bagley and uh, Hassan Whiteside, they had six blocks. I think three of them came in that last quarter when we were actually playing the game. All right, let's look at some stats. Our leading scorer is LaMelo Ball at 17, Hayward at 15 and a half. Look, we need more out of Hayward. Okay, and it might be that I just need to bite the bullet and use him more and quit holding a freaking grudge on Gordon Hayward. All right, rebounds per game. Uh, Ball is our leader. Assist per game. Ball is our leader. Devontae Graham tied with him, actually, at 5.3. Uh, stills per game. Ball is our leader. Goodness, man, this 19-year-old kid is leading us in everything except for blocks per game, which is P.J. Washington at 1.5, and then Bridges at 1. So that's our interior defense is P.J. Washington and Bridges. That's not great. All right, that's it for episode number four. Uh, up next, I think we head back home. I'm not sure who we're playing, but I think our road... No, 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 we've got one more game. Sorry, one more game on this California road trip against Golden State. And then, to be honest, I don't even know where we go from there. But it's Golden State up next here on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming. It's Charlotte Hornets basketball. And NBA 2K21.